Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel LR Edwards. In this video, I am going to explain about a ServiceNow application named Educational Organization using ServiceNow. For this, the first step is to we have to log into the instance of the admin. That means our ours. It is developer.servicenow.com. This is the home page of it. Then the next step is to we can we have to create an update set. So I'll go to local update set and then I'll be showing the update set I have already created. It's named as educational organization and I have given a state for it as in progress. And then I am I'm I have created three tables uh, for this uh, uh, application educational organization. This those are the first one is Salesforce. So I am creating the uh, one application I have already done. So this is my Salesforce application and these are the columns in it. Updated, father cell, mother cell, mother name and grade, class. These are all the columns in it. And then I uh, will be showing my another table which is uh, admission table. This is my admission table and it and also includes some of the columns like uh, the uh, student's address pin code details like area and many and my last but not the least table is the progress table uh, which progresses the student marks and uh, their fee details and everything so i have included the subject names percentage grades and everything in this table uh, mainly this application is to track the uh, track and manage uh, the educational society so next i have been i went back to the salesforce table and i have creating some columns in already created columns i have opened the grade column and i am giving the choices as the grade for every class like first standard second standard third standard in that way uh, we can create many choices and then next we can save this form as i am showing here by clicking on the toggle bar and we can design the form as follows by writing on it configure and form design we can design the form as our convenience so uh, we can select our table name there and it will be shown here we can drag and drop field types or field names we, we will be having default field names and we also we will be having default field types we can use field types or already present field types we can create new sections and we can design the form as our convenience and after i have created the three forms as shown here salesforce and admission and then in the same way i am showing here the admission table and then we can also design it for the progress table as shown here Uh, so this is the admission table form design and now I will be showing progress table form design. This is the progress table form design. It easily manages what is happening. And then now, now next step is uh, yeah, my number maintenance. The number maintenance first go to system definition and number maintenance you can create with any label name which is uh, shown here as prefix what uh, the main function of number maintenance i will be showing in uh, when i will show the result it will be clearly understanding for us the number maintenance is used to generate automatic numbers for the or as we can say the record numbers automate it generates automatically so i will be showing in the result page what's the result of the number maintenance so then we have to give, we'll be giving client scripts for uh, these as um, some of the labels like percentage, grade and uh, pin code and auto populate and um, we will be giving for some of the columns. So I uh, will be opening percentage client script for us. I have created almost five to six client scripts and I will be showing a uh, percentage yeah this is percentage I have created and it is on change and the percentage 
so this is the script what i have written in the script it will be executed when i am entering the filling the form there now let's see the results we have created three tables for this educational organization um project and then i have saved them in the salesforce form this is salesforce progress and admission this is was the salesforce table and if i click the new record uh, here is our form the this page will be opened in the way how we design our form see we can see here this is what number maintenance is if i refresh the page the number will be updated for this is what we use number maintenance we can also configure and uh, do the form design from here also and next let's look at the simply look at the admission table i'm opening new record here is the admission number and this is how i designed the admission table and then this is the progress table yeah this is the progress table how i created in this way um, an application and education organization you can service now is built by building three tables salesforce table admission table and student table and i have also designed form designs for them number maintenance as we have already seen and then client scripts and then thank you